today is International Women's Day. Did you know? I did. I know, you told me. Yes. And the BBC is featuring helicopter tuition by women for women. And Julian has made these. This is a whirlwind which predates the Wessex that I learned to fly. And this is a Sioux. The quality, you should just come and see the quality of what you make. That's a Bell 47G and it Sioux helicopter. Yes. And it predates the Gazelle that you flew. Oh, this predates the Gazelle yes. that I flew. I didn't know that. And either. both of those helicopters were at RAF Turnhill where I was based, or my father was based when I was a small child. And uh, when we came to the RAF station, they had whirlwinds and they had Sioux helicopter there. And when we left, they had replaced them all with pumas and gazelles, which I have not models of yet, but I will have models. That doesn't go around. That one doesn't go around. No, that and, one does. And, yeah. and yes. this one, yes. pleasingly. It's just the manufacturer, Airfix, make their all their parts move, whereas other manufacturers tend not to. There we are. Yeah. More modelling gems. Information, yes. From Julian. But more about helicopters, because that's. Yes. You're, you're more excited about helicopters. Than I am. I am. I, I like helicopters, but fixing like me are better for me. Well, <laughs> the things you can do with a helicopter, and helicopters have engines, you see, which gliders don't. But no. we'll we'll cover gliders more again mm. another time and give Julian his head. Gliders but don't catch fire as well as helicopters. They don't catch fire as well. <laughs> notice, but also helicopters are very good at putting out fires, yeah. uh, and we'll come to that. But one of the things that's mentioned in this program, which we'll give the link mm. to below, is the multiple uses of helicopters that aren't commonplace. And that's one of the things that we want to cover as, as GHB Airfield Savers, to give young people much more of an introduction of what can be done with fixed wing and with helicopters. We're not yet planning to have a helicopter as part of Get High Valare, but who knows, one day. But we just want to go through a short list of some of the things you can do with helicopters that you may not know about. Start us off, Julian. Well, one of them is obviously uh, executive transport. You find a lot of those flying high powered executives yeah. and all sorts of stars around the place to get them into stadiums and onto their private estates. Imagine if that was your job or tourists. You know, already there are lots of helicopters all over the world that operate on tourist flights. Typically the Grand Canyon, the Niagara Falls, but also nearer. You can get flights, tourist flights to the Isles of Scilly. You can do loads with a helicopter. You can also use helicopters to go to the oil rigs, which is what I was about to do. I was about to retrain um, as a helicopter pilot when my two elder children were about seven, eight years old. And I thought, I really want to get back flying. And I thought, I'll be a helicopter pilot and I'll go and fly the rigs. And um, I actually sent my kids. Well, I didn't send them. They went on holiday to Ireland and I elected to stay to go through what I needed to go through in order to begin helicopter training again, civil, because my licenses were all military. And in that week, I knew that I was pregnant. I've always known when I'm pregnant. <laughs> and sure enough, along came Poppy, about which I have only joy, only joy. And I went, oh, okay, helicopter career, out the window, come back to being a mother again. Life is what happens when you plan something else. I don't know, this wasn't really supposed to be in this talk, but it's here it's now. Relevant. Uh, give us some more good things that you can do with a helicopter. Oh, well, the police use them, of course, for cha yeah. chasing cr criminals both uh, day and night. Uh, and uh, I remember when I was at uh, White Waltham uh, doing my pilot's training, sometimes late in the evening, uh, we were in the bar and we hear the As police, and we hear the police helicopter land outside, and out would drop a whole load of uh, policemen who were coming yeah. to the bar while they ostensibly had their helicopter refueled. For a few pints. Obviously, oh. obviously pilot, pilot we were, didn't drink, but... Well, going to jump out <laughs> to the rest Yes, that's right. No, no, no. And they dashed in and flew back right. again once, they, once they've had their film. Another thing you can do is film work. Uh, you can actually be part of a film as the helicopter pilot, or you can be the aerial platform from which aerial filming can take place. And you can also move into other kinds of filming, like nature documentaries. You can use a helicopter to get into remote, inaccessible places, confined spaces that other aircraft can't get into. You can hover over ships, heaving, pitching ships. You can hover over the edges of cliffs. You can really use this machine for so many more things than you can a fixed wing. Anything else? Oh yes, you can move the larger helicopters, even, yeah. actually even some of the smaller helicopters could, can be used for moving heavy items with a strop or strap underneath it. Yep. They can lift quite large structures. Some of the Russians specialise in that. 
And yes, I've even seen a helicopter lifting another helicopter. Yeah, yeah, film, yeah, on, film on YouTube with that happening. Yeah, uh, but the Russian helicopters, they've got some really giant helicopters and they can lift really large pieces of equipment. And I remember a couple of the really heroes of helicopters uh, were the two, uh, well, several gentlemen, uh, Russian gentlemen, who used the really heavy helicopters, I think they were Mil 8s, uh, to drop uh, water and sand on the yeah. Chernobyl uh, nuclear plant, plant after the Chernobyl disaster. And they did it full well, knowing that they were in the full uh, radiation pool. Yeah, they volunteered. They volunteered for it, yeah. That's very impressive. And subsequently gave their lives. Yes. Um, because of the uh, cancer the illness that they contracted as a result of that act of yeah. heroism. So it's pretty impressive. Uh, and other things you can move into, if you're into that kind of thing, is to become a test pilot to test new models or new developments in a variant of helicopter. Um, and air sea rescue as well. Air sea as rescue. You, as you well know. Yeah, I've you know yeah dabbled in in air sea rescue, yes. as you do. Uh, and then last but not least, and close to our hearts at the yes. moment, yeah. is the air ambulance. More specifically, the East Anglian yeah. air ambulance, which is the one that I'm doing the mud run for, which is the series that's going on accompanying this series. That's why I'm dressed like this today. So check out the links and if you've got any spare shekels then give some money through my mud run to the East Anglian Air Ambulance so that we can continue support to support these crews who are purely funded by donations. And last but not least. Oh, we've already well, done that so this yeah, is the well, second. Second last but not least. Really, yeah, really, yes, really, really last but not least. Yeah. We are as uh, GHV, as Get High Valari, going to be promote, promoting the career path into helicopters in schools because there are That's not right. enough helicopter pilots and certainly not enough female helicopter pilots yep. out there. Yep. And again, you'll see in the BBC documentary, we'll put a, a, or, or a short article we'll put a little link to beneath uh, here, you'll see them uh, say that quite clearly yes. on their little, uh, their little film. So we've been invited uh, to give some talks in schools over the next coming weeks, months, and we will be pushing that, that there are careers in aviation. Even if you don't actually want to fly the things, they take a lot of engineering, oh, yes. do helicopters, and, uh, and I would like to trust a really good engineer because there's a lot that can go wrong. It really shouldn't get airborne, <laughs> but it does and we're very grateful. Um, and all sorts of complementary, supplementary careers. So if you've got any interest in aviation, then stick with us.